Today, we're going to talk about one of the most valuable tools in you have in your life, and that's your network. Your network is your most valuable tool. We're going to talk about the why, the who, what, where. We have some experiences to share that could be helpful for you the next time you need to do a little networking. Networking. We're talking about building a network, building a community. If it makes you feel a little bit better about it, it's building your community. Why network? So. Your network is your net worth. We already described that. Your network is your net worth. It means the people you surround yourself will determine. So networks allow you to exchange ideas. You guys out there, especially you women, my kid's doing this and I need help. And what do you think? That, that's, that's, that's your network that you're reaching out to. Absolutely. Where, where? and who to network with. Where, to, where do you go to network? There are actually a lot of places that you can do networking. What's some places we can network? Um, I personally like going to actual networking events. Real world networking events. Right. Somebody advertised Business, a B2B networking. B2B networking. Let's B2B, go. You know, hardcore networking <laughs> events, we'll call them. A long day. Industry events. Real estate. Because real estate needs all the components of it. You have, you have people who sell, you have people who buy, you have uh, brokers. You have title, you have insurance. Networking events that's specific for real estate because those folks love to help connect. Part of real estate, most of the brokers that I've met, part of their value is their network. So that when they're selling to somebody, they can say, hey, look, I've got a team of people who do all of the you know services that you need for your new home. And that's a selling point when you're or, looking for, or for somebody to... Or the opposite side, when you have a home that, that's not where it should be, those real estate people will say, hey, I got a guy. I got yeah, a that's, guy. That's a big thing in networking. I I, I'm guy. one of those guys that got a guy. I always got a guy. Absolutely. So another place to network, association, clubs, chambers, alumni events. Doing some smaller group networking is a lot easier. So I always suggest folks start with their alma maters. Where'd you go to school? is do they have a networking group? Um, Drexel University, where I went, has uh, a global night of networking or they have regular uh, networking events. I love to go to them because I love to hear what everybody's up to. I also love to network, so that kind of works for me. But I also recommend it for folks who are nervous about learning to network because you've got an immediate icebreaker. You already have something in common. You went to, you went to the same college. So another place, church, synagogues, religious places. Well, sporting events in multiple ways. You know, you meet the people next to you. If you're your kids' sporting events, if you're going to, you know, with the with the kids, the other parents and stuff on a regular basis, you're sitting there in the stands and little Johnny's missed the ball for the 15th time. And you know, it's, you know, let's face it, it's not it's not always exciting to see your kids playing sports but it but, but it's, it's, nice it's to great to, to be there and meet the other parents that's networking how to network you're going to give you some tips here and again um if you already know how to network we're probably just reviewing for you some ideas but for those who really don't like it or think they don't like it it's not as hard as you think and we've got some tips for you so for number one in how to network start with a goal and be clear to be successful at networking start with a goal be clear know exactly what you want so another thing you do another thing you should do at a networking event dress properly please i'll even go as far to say is be the best dressed <laughs> person in the room all right this is really important That's okay fine. bring a way to leave your contact information traditionally it's been business cards, but as we move forward in this more digital world, business cards are becoming rarer and rarer. And now we use a phone. I actually just wanna show you a little trick. I, I personally am really into LinkedIn. I have a lot of contacts there. I love the platform. Um, and I also love to bring business cards with me. I just find it easier to hand it to somebody, gives them the opportunity to write a little note on the back of it. Uh, I like to get business cards, but in the uh, in the case that you can't, if you have LinkedIn on your phone, this is just LinkedIn regular homepage. Brought it up. 
If you go to the search bar at the top and just tap on it, it then comes up with um, a little QR code. Should that QR code be and, close? Well, you can't, okay. So at the end of the search bar now is something for me to tap on. And up Put pops that up Put that my that phone. There QR you go. code. That is, if yeah. somebody is to uh, take a picture of that or get the picture of that, I'll take them right to my LinkedIn profile and they can connect with me there. So this is a little tip. A game changer. Highly recommend. Game changer. You can take a snapshot of this, a screenshot of that, and have that handy and ready when you're out and about and meeting people, and that way they can connect with you directly on LinkedIn. All right, here's a here's a really simple and good tip. Smile. Yes. Just smile. Smile is All good. All time. People like friendly, happy, smiling. People. I don't like walking up to people who look angry. I like walking up to people who look friendly. So smile. If you're new to networking or you're shy, there's a lot of shy people, find a buddy. I was gonna say, you know what I do? You're I mean, not shy though. No, but I, I'll find you're someone. You're new sometimes. And I'll find somebody who is shy and I'll say, do you want me to go around? Let let me go around and help you, help introduce you to the First you say, hi, I'm Ashley. Well, that's what I say first, yes. But at least that way, I now have a new purpose, right? I'm showing this other person how, you know, like I'm helping them connect with the people who are there. Um, they're loving it because then they don't have to do that initial contact and it's easier for them. So the next one. What do we got? Work the crowd. Yes. Don't be, don't stay with who you came with all night because you're probably leaving with them and you're probably gonna do something at the network event. Work the room, work the crowd, press the flush for as many people as you can. Uh, next. Be friendly. It's just, it's like smiling. Yeah, that's nice. That's be it. friendly. Be and friendly. nobody wants to come up to somebody at a networking event who looks like they're having a big, big problem. Yeah. Right? Like, or angry or grouchy. So if you're more comfortable speaking with people, here's the next tip. Yes. Ask questions. Well, oh. that's a killer. Everybody likes to talk about themselves. What, what, actually, as a favorite, what can I do for you? What's your goal? What's your goal? What's your big goal? Like, what are you trying to make happen in your life and your business? I ask that question a lot because it helps me understand what they really want to make happen, not just I have a position I'm trying to fill. Okay, but what are you trying to make happen for your business? Because I may have bigger ideas or other people that I can connect with them with on a higher level. Another thing, <clears throat> act professional all the time. Yes. Don't drink too much at the cocktail hour. Understanding of acting professionally, obviously you wanna be friendly, but you also wanna make sure that you're watching your reputation. Because if you start developing a reputation for being the person who does not act professionally at networking events, uh, you're not doing yourself any favors and you're looking, you're making yourself look bad, you're making your employer look bad. So or your company look bad if you're yeah. the employer. Yeah. This is just a power, this is a total power move and actually and I've gotten really good at it. Meet the speaker. If there's someone who's speaking. We can't help ourselves. Go up and introduce yourself after the event. Uh, another thing, respect the yes. other person and what they what they say. If you, if you don't, hey, I don't have time, I don't have time, especially if you're a pushy salesman. I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. <laughs> respect that other person uh, and their time. And that, I believe that was a total respect mood. Because later you will follow up. Oh, there's so many ways to follow up. I love follow up. <laughs> the money is in the follow up. It's absolutely in the follow up. But the first thing is that you can bring back that conversation. Hey, it was, I mean, and this is a, a direct message in LinkedIn. This is a, a written note. Um, this written is, note is a... It's, yeah. Game changer. You've got I don't, their address, just freaking I, right I don't do it. My handwriting is terrible. Ashley does it all the time. I do it frequently, but if I'm in a hurry, I'll DM on LinkedIn you and also, just say I had it. You know, it was a pleasure meeting you. If you have their cell phone, then text them. Hey, I just sent you an email. Great <clears throat> to meet you last night. That's a pro it's move. A lovely touch. Nobody's and, and don't abuse it. Yes. Don't don't, don't keep sending them tons of texts but definitely reach out to them and just say, hey, it was great to meet you. And um, you know, I look forward to catching up with you later. Three pro tips here. Uh, number one, wear your name badge on your right side. So when you reach out to shake, shake a hand, hand. You, you're looking at the person's There's, name badge right here. Yes, you're looking at theirs, they're looking at yours. 
on. Try to remember their name too. Like say, oh, it is such a pleasure to meet you, Gus. Next one, we actually came, this came up in, a, in, a, in our workshop earlier today. There's a couple of people talking. How do you know if, if I can approach them or how do you know when to approach them? Right, because I don't want to bust in on somebody else having a conversation, but at the same time, token, I might be really eager to meet somebody or somebody may have said, hey, you need to go meet Sally. Okay, I'm sort of standing in line waiting to meet Sally, but I don't want to interrupt, but I kind of want to interrupt. Like, what, what do I do? So what, what you do is, let's just say there's three people standing there. If they're standing there and their feet are parallel to each other, facing all three of them like a perfect triangle or tripod into each other. They're involved in a conversation. They're not looking for anyone outside that conversation. If their feet are slightly turned out or open or their shoulders are open, they're open to other people joining them in that conversation. It's a loose conversation. The same thing with sitting. Because uh, the question in the workshop came up, what if someone's sitting? Well, we're sitting here in an open position and if somebody walked up to us and we're at a networking event and they said, hey, can we join you? Can we talk? Hey, hey, I'm Gus. I, I would actually stand up immediately. Hey, I'm Gus. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. This is actually- We uh, did that a couple of times right. last week too. But if they're turned in and their right. feet are crossed or they have their legs crossed and they're turned towards each other and they're looking at each other- And they're having a conversation. They're having a private conversation. Yeah, it's, probably not. It, and it's yeah. best to respect that private conversation and not barge in on that conversation. So another of these three tips, uh, which is form, F-O-R-M. It's a great icebreaker. Family, occupation, recreation, money. They are three topics that you can open up a conversation with. Hey, I'm Gus, nice to meet you. Family, uh, do you have any children? You know, are, 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 do you have a spouse? That people like to talk about uh, their family. Occupation, hey, how did you get the role you have right now? Uh, do you enjoy your role? Are, what are you planning on doing? What's your next step within the organization or outside the organization? Please. And then money, you know, wow, gas prices have really increased. Or, you know, my favorite question I like to ask people to find out what they're really made of. What, what would you do if you came in this sudden wealth? And I mean real wealth, $500 million. You have $500 million. What's your purpose in life? What do you do? Everybody answers the same thing. And then I talk them. They said they're going to travel. I'm going to travel. I'm going to travel the world. I'm going to donate to charity. Great. That's awesome. You're going to get tired of both of those <laughs> things real quickly. Then what are you going to do? And and they take a while to think about, you know, hey, I want to save animals. I want to, you know, I want to climb Everest. I want to do whatever it is. I mean, that's your true purpose in life. And I encourage you to get on it right now today and start doing that. So I actually went from telling, telling you, <laughs> Give yes. me a little bit, going a little bit to coaching mode here, but, right. but, but giving you the tool, it's form, F-O-R-M. Uh, it's um, a great way to just remember some icebreakers and then some things to talk about when you're at a networking event, when sometimes it's yeah. not obvious. So this is all about standing out and your competition's probably not doing as much networking as you have the opportunity to. Take the opportunity to go to networking events, to introduce yourselves to people, and it's a muscle. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be doing it. Uh, and you'll get better at it to the point where you can help other folks do it too. And that's a skill. Mm -hmm.